You see, I have to be nice to the Germans. They are my customers, they are winning the war, so if I am not nice to them, they will shoot me. I have to be nice to the resistance. I suppose they will shoot him for being nice to the Germans. <laughs> I have to be nice to my wife because if she finds out I'm having an affair with Yvette, she will shoot me. <laughs> and if Yvette finds out I'm having an affair with Maria, well, she will shoot me. <laughs> now, Otto Flick, the Gestapo officer, is having dinner in the back room. Upstairs are two German officers in their underwear because I have borrowed their uniforms to help two British airmen to escape. The pianist over there is in fact a forger for the Marquis. And the German officer at that table fancies me. <laughs> and it is only Tuesday. Ah! Really, the Colonel is getting very impatient. You promised he would have his uniform back in 15 minutes. It is now 45. Take his mind off it. Keep him amused. How can I look at my celery? <laughs> but Maria, can't you entertain him? How can I? My celery isn't even good enough for soup. Really? <laughs> Flick of the Gestapo is paying his bill. Really? Flick says he's going to search the building. What? He will find the painting of the fallen Madonna by Van Klomp in the cellar. No, no, the painting has gone, but so too are the uniforms of the Colonel and your Captain. If they find the Colonel and the Captain in their underwear, this could make the Gestapo suspicious. Oh. <laughs> Elga, you must keep Erflick amused. Amusing the Gestapo is a very serious business. Well, surely you can think of something? I have it. Give me a large glass of your strongest brandy. Of course, at once. We must find the German officers quickly. Take them to the room of my mother. Yeah, Maria, go and tell the officers. I will explain to the old girl. It is. Can nobody hear me? Shut up, you old bat. This place is, is crawling with the Gestapo. I shall tell them nothing. Now, listen carefully to what I have to say. Two German officers are coming to your room. Pigs! <laughs> I will fight them to my dying breath. <laughs> they taken off their uniforms. Have you no finesse? <laughs> they will not touch you, Mama. <laughs> that is what they said in 1917. <laughs> Get in the wardrobe. If I do not have my uniform in ten minutes, you will be shot. But, Colonel, your revolver is on the belt of the uniform, which is around the waist of the British Airman, who is not here. <laughs> Get in the hall. <laughs> I'm right. René, he is searching the restaurant, and then he is on his way up here. Who is? Otto Flick of the Gestapo. <gasps> Gestapo? <laughs> Not a word. The Gestapo are coming. If they find the Germans in the wardrobe, I could be shot. I shall not yield to the torture of the Gestapo. Long live France! <laughs> shut up! <laughs> hey, Otto Flick! Good evening. Good evening, Herr I am sorry to put you to inconvenience, but there are certain things I need to know. There are two German officers in the wardrobe. The radio is under my bed. 